Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to set up a disk quota for Active Directory users home folders in Windows Server 2022. A home folder is a private network location where users can store their personal files. It is stored in a shared folder on a file server. When we create the home folder on a file server, users can access it from any computers on the local network. Earlier, I have created a detailed video on how to create and map a home folder for Active Directory users in Windows Server 2022. Link to that video is given in the description. For this video, we have single domain Active Directory Forest named msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. For this example, we are installing FSRM role on our domain controller. If you have dedicated file server, then install FSRM role on your file server. In the first step, let's install file server resource manager role on this server. Right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. Type cmdelete, install hyphen windows feature, hyphen name, fs hyphen resource hyphen manager hyphen include management tools. Hit enter to install FSRM on this local server. This will take few seconds to install FSRM role on our domain controller. We have successfully installed FSRM role on our domain controller. Restart is not needed. Type exit and hit enter key to close Windows PowerShell. For this demo, I have created an OU named TestOU. I have also created two users under the OU. Both users are member of the security group called Test Users. We will use Test Users group to assign permissions on shared folder. Let's open File Explorer. Access E drive and create a folder and name it Home Folder. This can be named anything, but we should use a descriptive name. Right click on the folder and select properties. Go to sharing tab, click on advanced sharing. Under the advanced sharing window, select share this folder. Now you can update the share name under the settings section. This is the shared name of this folder. In our case, it is home folder. Add the special character dollar at the end of the shared name to make this folder hidden to our users. This is done for security reasons. The users did not require access to this main or root folder. What they need is access to their users folder within this folder. We can also add comment under comments section. This has no operational value but rather used for system administrators to keep track of folders. Now click on permissions. We can see Active Directory group titled everyone has read permission on this shared folder. We want to change the permission to full control. Then click on apply and ok. Again click apply and ok. Now the folder is shared. Let me copy the network path of this shared folder. Now go to security tab. Since we have given full control at sharing level, we want to customize NTFS permissions. Open advanced security settings window by clicking the advanced button near the bottom. Click disabled inheritance. Select convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. Select Users Group, Read and Execute and Spatial and use the Remove button to remove them from the permissions entry. Click on Apply and OK. Now I'm going to click on Close to close the home folder properties. Let me minimize the file explorer and go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on ROU Test OU. Select all the users you would like to set them up a home folder. Select test user 1, test user 2 and then right click while the users are selected. Now select properties to open properties window. 
This will open up the properties for multiple users. Go to Profile tab and select Home folder. Now choose Connect to Radio button. Now we can choose a drive later for home folder for each user. Typically, we use the letter ash for home folders as an unwritten rule of thumb. You may select any drive later from the drop down menu as long as it will not create a conflict for any of your users. Under the To section, type the root home folder location which we created earlier. Let me paste the copied network path here. Type slash, then at the end of it, please insert percentile username percentile. This will result in creation of home folders for each selected user with their own username. Now click on apply and OK. Remember, the home folder name is based on the Active Directory user's logon name. Double click on Test User 1. Check logon name under Account tab. We can see the user's logon name is User1. Now click on Profile tab. Check the home folder connect path. We can see after the root folder name, we have User1. Let's click on OK. Let me minimize Active Directory users and computers. Open File Explorer. Check the content of the shared folder. A folder that matches the user's logon name should exist in the folder. Access e drive and double click on Home folder. Here we can see the list of home folders for our Active Directory users. And these home folders are with the name of user's logon name. Here we can see the home folder name user1 for the user taste user1 and user2 for user taste user2. These home folders are automatically created based on the logon name of each AD user account under the shared folder root path. This process occurred when we inserted percentile username percentile at the end of the root shared folder path. Let me show the NTFS permission of this individual shared folder. We will check the same for user taste user 1. Right click on user 1 and select properties. Click on security tab and click on advance. Click on taste user 1 permission entry. We can confirm he has full control on this folder, subfolders and files. This permission is added automatically when we have configured home folder settings for active directory users. Let's click on OK, click OK again and click OK again. Let me minimize File Explorer. Home folder creation is completed. Our next step is to enable a disk quota on users' home folders. Go back to Server Manager dashboard, click on Tools and select File Server Resource Manager. Expand Quota Management and click on Quotas. Right click Quotas and select Create Disk Quota. Click on Browse and browse to the folder where you want to apply this quota. In our case, we have a folder on our e drive. Let me select the folder Home folder. Click OK. So our path is going to be e colon slash home folder. This time we have to choose second option, auto apply template and create quotas on existing and new subfolders. Now define where the properties are coming from. We will use the 5GB limit template here. Click on this drop down menu and select 5GB limit existing this quota template. The summary of quota properties is here. Now click on create. The quota on specified path is created successfully. To see the result, let's go to Windows 11 computer. Let's sign into this Windows 11 computer as a test user 1. Let's enter test user 1's password and hit enter key to log into this Windows 11 computer. Let's open File Explorer. Confirm that the home folder is mounted successfully with drive later H. Right click on it and select Properties. Check the capacity. It should be 5GB as per this quota configuration. Click OK. We can check same for our second user as well. Taste user 2 will also have a disk quota limit of 5GB on his home folder. Now Active Directory users can store their personal data in home folder up to 5GB. 
After reaching this quota limit, the user will not be able to add more data into his home profile folder. If you want to add more data, then he has to delete the existing data and free up the space in home folder location. In this video, we have created home folder for existing Active Directory user accounts. We have also set up disk quota on user's home folder. That's all for this video on how to set up disk quota limit on AD user's home folder in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.